Now, if you have been on social media for the past year, you have definitely seen these kind of videos where people are talking to a camera and they have captions over the video. It's very engaging. The captions are real time. There are some sound effects on it and it just looks great, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create these kind of videos for yourself very, very easily without any technical skills or even sell this to clients as a service for a monthly fee. Okay, so all you're gonna need for this is your phone or even an iPad and uh, that's pretty much it, okay? So the app that we are going to use for this is called Captions. Now, this is not a sponsored video, but I found this tool a couple of days ago and I think it is amazing because you can create these videos with very minimal effort and we used to make these at my agency and it would take like half an hour to an hour to create each of these videos and with this app you can create it within like five minutes or less so let me show you how it works uh this app costs eight dollars per month which i think is a pretty fair deal uh if you use it a lot especially because you know uh it does a lot uh for you in terms of time savings so i think it's worth it uh and then as you can see on the main screen you will have all the projects that you have on the app now as you can see i have already made a few videos with this uh but let me just uh, click on create and uh, create a new project and then you want to click on pick from library right then it's going to open up all the clips uh, on your phone or iPad in my case and uh, then you just want to select one that you want to put the captions over so I'm just gonna select one of these let's just go with this one then uh, you can trim it here if you want to uh, I'm not going to in this case and then I'm going to continue with this one item okay and uh, they actually have a pretty cool feature right here before you even really start the editing one of them is the auto split so when you are recording a vertical video of you just talking to a camera and you have some you know, breaks between two sentences, you can click this auto split button and then it's automatically going to remove all the blank spots when you are not talking, doing a lot of the editing for you. And it also has auto curse sensor where it's going to remove all the curse words that you say. Now, I'm not gonna click any of these because I already like pre-edited this, um, but uh, yeah, let's click on proceed with magic. As you can see, it says it might take up to 60 seconds and now it's basically analyzing the video and and understanding you know what you're saying so it can put the captions on it it's already finished with that um, so now you have the captions right here on the screen you can move it around um, and change the style of it all that good stuff so I want to click on edit now and then you can click on uh, style and you can choose from all these different fonts as you can see um, they have a lot of different you know fonts not that many, but I think it's a, you know, a good, good amount. You can definitely pick one that you like from these. And then you can click on edit custom style. And they have quite a lot of options that you can choose from here. In terms of words per line, you can choose if you just want to have a single word on the screen, um, or you can choose to have uh, the time selected where, you know, I guess the text shows up exactly when you are saying it, or you can choose random, which I don't know why you would choose that. And the one I use all the time is punctuation or pause. So basically it just detects when you are doing a punctuation or a pause and it's gonna break the text over with AI. And then you can select lines per page. So basically how many lines you want. If you just want one line, so the text is in one line, you choose one. If you want two, then two and so on. After that, again here, you can select the font here. You can select the alignment. I like to keep it center aligned. And then uh, you can change the size of the text here. Um, I guess the spacing of it, the line height. You can even change the shadow of it, like how big of a shadow you want, what color shadow you want. You can select if you want to have a stroke or not. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna not have a stroke. Uh, <laughs> that sounded funny, but yeah. Um, you can also choose the transition that it has. So you can choose the pop transition, the scale transition, slide, fade, whatever you want. Um, I like to have the slide or the pop usually. That's pretty much it. As for the target, I just select the line and then you want to click on this little tick. And as you can see now, I just need to recenter it, uh, make it a bit smaller and uh, it's already uh, did the work for me as you can see uh, it understood what I'm saying and put the caption on the video now if you need to change you know any mistakes that the AI made when translating your video you can just go and scroll to the word that you want to change and then click on it and then obviously you can change it or if you want to add an emoji to it you can even do that and as you can see it's gonna pop up there now 
Uh, if you go to this color thing on the top uh, next to style, then you can choose the primary color of your text. You can also choose this emphasize function to be enabled or disabled. This basically just like emphasizes some of the words uh, that it detects as important with a different color. Uh, so it pops out more. I actually don't really like this feature, so I just leave it turned off. Um, but the active word function I really like, which is going to highlight the exact word that you are saying at that moment. Uh, and you can choose the color of the highlighting as well. I quite like this um, bright blue one. So uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna close this. And as you can see now, it's it's highlighting the the exact uh, you know line that I'm on at the moment. You can also add like stickers to your video with this. You can also add different emojis to the exact word that you want. Um, so it pops up. You can also add sound effects to each word. So you really can, you know, customize your video a lot. After you are done with your editing, you just need to click on this done button on the top, uh, click on save, and then you can either just straight up export it or save project. And then you can just, once you want to later on, you know, download a project, you can just click on these three dots, click on download, and it's going to download it to your library so you can upload it to whatever social platform you want to and as you can see this process really doesn't take more than five minutes per video usually even less and uh, i think it's quite insane that you can do you know this level of editing with this minimal amount of effort if you want i can also show you how to do this kind of editing in premiere pro or final cut but to be honest this is so easy to do that i really don't even see the point of doing it to be honest hope you enjoyed if you want to see more content like this make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you want to learn how to monetize your video editing skills and start making some money as a creative agency owner, then also click the link in the description below and find out more about Clients for Creatives, which is a company I started with my business partner, Greg, that helps creatives to get clients online on retainers. So hope you enjoyed again, and I will see you guys in the next one.